we are first day of april and we got what's your name brian brian's got himself a nice yellow tail that's what i'm talking about on the tube bait, huh? Yeah, on the tube bait. Yeah, and then there you and, go. And then we got the reds here too, so we got some nice reds. Dang, that's a chunky one. This, yeah. These oh are, yeah, is that what you normally are pulling up? That's that's what, that's that's what, that was what I was targeting this morning. And this guy, so I'm, I'm pulling in my, my tube bait array and, and I'm probably 40 feet from the boat and it just smacks me and all of a sudden, wee, and I'm, I'm on 15 pound. I'm on pretty light. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, it's, I'm going, oh, it's a guard yellow. It's a good one. So, yeah, I'm just going, oh, okay, I hope everything holds up. And there we go. Yeah, nice work, Brian. Thanks, man. I'm going to go try to get one myself. Were you on one of these little bait casters right here? I was on this one. What do you got, Alexa? Yeah, WN 300. 300? 300. 300? Yeah. Both those are 300? That's a 200. Yeah, this, this is like a 200. Dang, you got it on the Alexa 300 right there. Yeah. <laughs> and on uh you have mono on that you didn't even I, have braided i know I, I got braid underneath it took me to, i thought maybe i was gonna get spooled i mean i was i hadn't had this big of a fish on this reel before. i was gonna say a yellow on that little <laughs> bait caster will know, work going, you well let's just trust the process you know yeah, yeah it was all good epic yeah. epic great well, job man so here's here's the tubes I was, oh, I think I put my tubes away. You got some larger ones on the outside right here. Yeah, I like, I love this color. And who makes those? This is Red Rum. Yep, I know. And they actually have a rattle inside yeah, they do. the head, right? They're called tube rattlers. But Did you cut this to make it shorter? Is that the regular size? No, when the guy packages them, I just started fishing them about a year and a half ago. He uh, he he cuts it. He, I mean, when, when he rigs them, he's got it cut like this. And I go, well... They, when I first started using them, that's that's how I fished them. So now I just cut my own, and I even these are the uh, um, the mutinies. Yeah, no, those are owner. Is that who makes the mutinies? I, you know what? I don't know. Actually, it's, it's the first ones I bought. But this is one they. they I like those eyes in that one. They, yeah, I yeah. Have. Well, well, it's funny because uh, I was I I was I, I needed some new jig heads, and I'm normally using the red rum jig heads, and I I go oh these mutiny ones, and they go they got eyeballs, and then I saw the ones that they prepackage. And they cut out little eye holes, so I go, well, I'll do that. <laughs> oh, there yeah. you go. So, you so that's a custom move you did on your own. Move. I like that. Yeah, so it kind of looks cool. It looks like a yeah. little, little goby or something like that. You like the pink? Uh, what color was the one that you were well, using today? I, I always have good luck on this. This is what they call it. He calls it blue shad. But I think it mimics a squid or maybe a chovy, even, you know. So anyway, but but I go well because I needed some like one ounces, so I I had two one ounce jig heads on this one. Anyway, it was pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Is that the first yellow you got on a tube bait like that? Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, those tube baits are killer. I love tube baits. But yeah, and and that's cool to see the different because I saw a buddy of mine makes uh, master baits uh, uh -huh. that he's got two baits. Okay. I was using hookup baits last year those get expensive and i know that there's these other options yeah. so there's a lot of options out yeah. there i always fish these uh, swivels on these too i kind of like the action with the swivels when this oh not only does it make it easier to switch them out but it also helps with the action i think it does and this is this is my other new fave is these, is these major craft um, it, it looks almost like the jig para. It is a jig para. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, but it's a little one. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people talking about those jig, and that's that's Shimano that makes that. No, it's it's a major craft. It's another Japanese company. And and that size right there is you. Fit, I mean, fit people will you could fish that for tuna if it's the right. Yeah. The tuna are on the right bait. It's all about matching the bait size, yeah. right? I've had really good luck on the 50, 60 gram where I fish, um, and I like this Iwashi color. Uh, which is this this sardine color i'm mostly on calicos or have you gotten any Cal yellows or anything else no yellows but yeah. um calicos uh sand bass sand bass just go bananas the big ones man when you can get it down in the bottom oh, yeah different. yeah yeah that's basically what you're kind of doing you just you don't even cast the, the slow jigs this is slow jig. that's slow pitch jigging yeah, right yeah. yeah so then is that a slow pitch rod that you have here uh, i don't know what it is nice to meet you brian and here's the sticker this is my youtube channel every day is it cool if i use some of the footage of you talking <laughs> yeah, on it yeah right on no that was really good suck good afternoon what's going on all my fishy friends and my grateful gaffers it's your buddy mikey here back at you with the channel sd fishing sifts if you haven't already 
please make sure you click the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you get all the latest videos and you can help me out with growing the channel so that's what i'm trying to do pick up subscribers pick up views and give you guys more value entertainment knowledge it's all good san diego my bread and butter i'm gonna focus up on giving you guys a good report current report and update on the different techniques that i'm using and what's going on with my fishing in san diego i got a little Looks like we got fast lane right there. Ron from Fast Lane selling a Hobie a Tandem Island. I really wanted to get that boat because it's a sailing boat. Those are really cool. Sailing kayak, and you can learn how to sail and and kayak fish at the same time. Grant, my buddy Grant in Mission Bay has one of those. So here we go. We're gonna launch out. This is the name of the game today. We're at the beginning of April right now. It's April 1st, 2021. I'm gonna chill off of my traveling, relax a little bit. I'm going too hard, spinning around too much. It's a lot of fun. Trust me, I have a lot of fun, but I need to focus back on San Diego. So the name of the game today, we're here April 1st. The weather's starting to warm up. The water's starting to warm up. I was in San Diego Bay yesterday. The halibut bite starting to warm up. So I was in San Diego Bay yesterday. See the video from that with Sand Dog Kayak Adventures. I'll put a link to that video because it, it will be the one that I put out before this video. And I went down to, to San Diego Bay for some halibut and one Isaac, one of his clients for the day, ended up getting a 23 inch halibut. I helped him net it. So that was super cool. I caught a bunch of spotted bay bass and a nice chunky sculpin. And then I was going to go up to Central California, but I decided against it and stuck around San Diego. So fishing with Sand Dog Kayak Adventures yesterday, San Diego Bay. Month of April, we got the YouTube subscription uh, contest giveaway. We're going to give away a trip for, for two to fish La Jolla off the kayak if you subscribe to both of our channels then you're, you get a chance to win that trip we're gonna pick a lucky person uh, that can go out there take somebody along with them too so that's that's some stuff going on with the channel i got the merchandise the hats going let me know if you want a hat and send me a comment or a message on instagram and we i can get you a hat going other than that we got yellowtail uh today that's the name of the game the water is warming up, the weather's warming up, and we're coming into springtime conditions. They've started getting yellowtails at the Coronado Islands. As most of you seen, the counts have gone up there on the San Diego. I think last Saturday they got 106 yellowtail down there. So that means that the water's warming up, the yellowtail's warming up. They should be cruising through here into La Jolla. And sure enough, as I'm getting ready to launch out in the parking lot today, I see my new friend Brian. He's on a little small Boston whaler. And I asked Brian how he did, and boom, what do you know? He's got a nice 18 pound yellowtail. Got it on the two bait, the red rum. He puts two of those two baits on a three-way swivel. I've never done it. I heard it's a technique that you can do. So he does that on the three-way swivel and he got a yellowtail uh, that way today. He likes to use the blue shad. So the two bait, that's what I got my master baits right here, this two bait. I was I'm gonna keep keep pounding the two baits. They're working really well. There's a whole bunch of different varieties of two baits that you can go ahead and get and use. I got the master baits. I've used the hookup baits. You can check out that video that I showed last year. I was using a lot of the hookup baits. There's also Mutiny, I believe that's by owner. Red Rum is another local company. That's what Brian was using today. And he got that on a, on a Daiwa Lexa 300, which is way smaller with mono on it too. 160 foot depth. I was surprised to hear that. So he got the yellowtail today. That's what we're going for. My plan originally was the surface iron game. 
we're coming into the moon phase was it was a a full moon last saturday so we still got some good tide movement that maybe i'll see some yellowtail and i'll i'll throw that surface iron at them i got the surface iron and then i got my warranty rod right there the phoenix m1 inshore that this is my jig stick with the seagate 40 reel on it since i don't have any of my other reels got stolen or they're in for service repair my tranks is and so that's what i'm throwing with that and then i got my two bait on my spinner right there i got my right here there's the one and only then i got my nomad ready to go same nomad as last year it's on the pen and jig master this year and the custom rod let's go out front let's get ourselves a yellow here we go all right here i got the new seaforth rolling up on me hard feels good to be back on the hunt for yellowtail in some of those springtime conditions here san diego 2021 that's my bread and butter that i love so much is the yellowtail i know that all my viewers subscribers you love it too so let's go get ourselves the yellowtail out front la jolla how we're gonna make it happen maybe we'll fish by the new seaforth but i'm trying to go strictly jigs lures irons today two baits to make it happen let's go fishing sips 2021 now yellowtail time Yew. let's go here we go the new seaforth cruising by i'm gonna go ahead and throw out the nomad here and troll this around on the way up to la jolla all through this area i see a couple birds sitting on the top of the water right here we're gonna troll by them and keep our eye out with the surface iron ready are starting to work see that surface iron action practice trash pickup what do we got here some balloons janitor of the sea here's what i'm working with right now i got my phoenix m1 inshore rod seagate reel tied on with my surface iron jri i'm gonna mix it up i'm gonna switch that out and i'm gonna put on a tube bait my rasta tube bait right here from master baits and put this bad boy on because Brian just showed me a yellowtail he got on a tube bait. So I'm gonna try to find, I'm in 130 feet of water right now. I'm gonna go to 160 and rockfish area, drop down and see what we can get on the tube bait. Keep my eye open, still have the Nomad ready to troll through La Jolla here, but we're gonna fish the bottom right now. Let's go. And here's another move I'm gonna do. Like he said, I'm gonna put on a swivel. We'll give it better action a snap swivel it will give it better action and it will make it easier for me to switch out different irons and lures tie this on let's get it going okay so i'm going to tie this on with the san diego jam knot right here
There you have it. The Master Baits Tube Late M1 Inshore. Let's find the spot. What's good? Who do I have the pleasure of meeting right here? Nolan. Yeah. What's up, Nolan? Yeah, you finally found me, dude. Uh, you made I'm, made bait, uh, or you was it hard? Our bait tank wasn't working this morning. It was pretty hard to find bait, though. Yeah. Uh, was, I only found a couple balls today. But I was mainly going deep, just trying to catch some dinner. Right. Yeah, trying to get some rockfish. Yeah. Have you had any? You got a finder on that? Yeah, I got this guy. I just got a Velcro on some duct tape and Velcro. And then how do you have the transducer? Out of PVC. Oh, there you go. Yep. What what depth were you fishing? I went all the way from like 130 to like 160. Okay. Yeah, no, that that's a good zone. That's where I was fishing on Sunday. And then I just heard when I was launching out, a guy was he picked up a yellowtail. He was fishing the bottom in 160 on the south end on a tube bait, and then he hooked into a nice 18-pound yellow that he ended up getting off of it. All right, Nolan. Well, I'm gonna cruise. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for saying what's up, dude. Yeah, dude. Thanks for stopping. Yeah, of course. And and for all the uh, support and love with the channel. Always, man. Keep watching. Keep telling your friends. Yeah, and on. right on. Have a good one, Nolan. Later, buddy. Sick. Good stuff. Running into more viewers and subscribers. Got Nolan right there. Getting a little report from him. Stoked, look at that butte. Getting the sculpin on the master baits, two bait. Alright, stoked, I got myself a sculpin. Two bait, the master base, the Rasta one, but I ended up losing that and I had to cut it off.